Are competitors clicking your AdWords ads? This is unfortunately something that happens and can be spotted by a click-through rate that's higher than 100%. In other words, if you have more clicks than impressions, then these could potentially be fraudulent. If so, these fake clicks can waste hundreds of dollars in ad spend for your campaigns. I'm often asked by clients how we can protect their AdWords accounts from click fraud, so I made this video to address that very same question. Google AdWords does, in fact, monitor impressions and clicks from single IP addresses and will eventually stop showing ads to a user after a certain number of impressions and clicks. But there are still ways around this and it won't catch every case. Most commonly, competition or click bots will click your ads while holding control to open them in another tab. Clicking your ads in this manner bypasses Google's protection and leaves your ads at bay. Secondly, competition can fraudulently click your ads from multiple different devices to show different IP addresses to Google. Google does have the ability to refund these invalid clicks and will do so automatically at the end of a pay period. However, it doesn't catch every single case and it's not quite so good when it comes to competition clicking your ads. For the past month and a half, I've had a client that's dealing very heavily with click fraud and this is something that's been causing them $200, $300 of extra ad spend that's not even going towards their leads. And especially over the past two weeks, I've done a lot to try to negate these invalid clicks from competition, such as excluding the entire location that I knew that they were coming from. But this wasn't enough. Their competition was just complete assholes and continue to relentlessly click their ads. And it seemed like there was nothing that we could do about it in that moment. I'm not gonna lie, we got to a point where we were about to admit defeat and then turn off the campaigns, which really sucks to do. But we did stumble upon this software called ClickSeas. And we're at a point where we had no other options. So we're just like, what the hell, let's try it. So we signed up for an account. And so far, it's been a lifesaver. ClickSeas actively monitors your campaigns for click fraud and will automatically blacklist IPs in your AdWords account. This software allows you to manually set parameters for when to block your competition's IP addresses. Better yet, ClickSeas will automatically place refund claims to AdWords at the end of the month for all the invalid clicks so that you can make your money back on any fake clicks that did happen. In the past month of using this tool, my client has saved hundreds of dollars and I plan on implementing this for all my client accounts moving forward. Just have a quick look at what my client has to say about ClickSeas. For the past couple of months, we began running Google's ads for our pediatric office here in Clifton, New Jersey by using Ryan's services. In the beginning, we were getting some decent results until one of our competitors started clicking on our ads. At one point, we noticed that this competitor was clicking on our ads over 60 times per day and it was costing us over $200 in ad spend. At that point, we asked Ryan for help. He was able to recommend that we contact a company called ClickSees. After we signed up with ClickSees, we've noticed a drastic drop in fraudulent clicks on our ads. So we recommend ClickSees to anyone who is looking to block fraudulent clicks from competitors on their, on their ads. So that being said, if you're having problems with fake clicks from competitors, try ClickSees for free using the link below this video in the description area and you'll get a seven day free trial. Click the link below and start protecting your AdWords account today. Okay, let's just do a small click cease review here, just so you can get a sense of the features, how it works and how to set this up for your own campaigns, as well as the pricing and packages and the differences between those. So just to start, we'll talk about who it detects. It detects competitors clicks, of course, and most of you watching this are probably most concerned about that. But since running this, I was surprised to see that there's actually quite a bit of, you know, bot clicks, people using VPNs, uh, click farms and everything that are clicking our ads that we've blocked so far. So this was a little bit less uh, interesting to me when I first signed up. But now that I see the results, I'm like, wow, I didn't know people were actually clicking. That weren't just competitors. How they go about detecting these is quite beyond me actually at this point, but they do have an algorithm that considers different patterns and signals for fraud, for fraudulent clicks. And, um, uh, so what they're mainly looking for is suspicious devices and IP ranges and then patterns and clicks such as too many clicks within a certain duration of time. And these are the main ones, but of course they're, they're blocking VPNs as well. And I'm not sure how they're going about doing that. That's something you might need to reach out to them if you're curious about that. But for the most part, 
Uh, I see them blocking, and that's all I care about. I don't care too much about the technical side of things. They have a great analytics table that goes with the software, and this is going to show the different IPs that came in, as well as some other information such as recordings. So that recording is literally heat maps of users on your landing pages, and it's going to show you, and you should be able to see some differences between an actual user and a bot. So a bot has more zigzaggy patterns rather than an actual user is more fluid. Um, but it will also show you the detected IPs as you can see here. And for the reason that it was uh, detected, like for this one specifically, we have manual, we have device, we have also clicked over the threshold, use VPN software. So it's really cool to see the different types of clicks that were fraudulent that we uh are now blocking in AdWords and no longer getting clicks for, which is gonna save you money. They also have additional features such as keyword analysis. So you can take a look at all your competitors who are also bidding on your same keywords. This might indicate who is clicking your ads, but for the most part, this is really just useful to get some more intelligence on who you're competing against in AdWords. It's a little bit helpful, but you can see this information in Google Ads as well as fraudulent devices. So it's just gonna show you the different types of devices that people are using. Also ad placement analytics. So it's gonna show you where your ads were placed if you're using Google Display Network. Okay, so that's the basic features right there. We'll go into the setup a little bit after this, but let's just go over the pricing and packages because this will be uh, interesting for you going forward. Now you got a basic plan, standard agency. Agency is just if you have multiple clients you're doing this for. I'm using standard right now for my existing client because of the time that it saves, as well as all this, this automation features, which goes along with the time saving aspect of it. But also it will block VPNs and proxies and all that stuff. So for this client, we were getting a lot of click fraud. So we wanted to be a little bit more aggressive with it. And to be honest, it saved us a lot more than $50 at this point. So it was entirely worth it. But if you wanna just go ahead and do the basic, that should be fine. This is up to a thousand clicks, so just make sure that you're not going over that. And even if you are, just some of your clicks won't be monitored for click fraud. But if you got a small account, either one of these should do fine. I would still suggest using this better version here because of the automation features. So the biggest difference is this won't automatically add the blacklisted IPs into AdWords. You have to do that manually. I would just prefer not to spend my time going in this system all the time and just let it run. And the extra, how much is this, $35 has entirely been worth that for me personally. Uh, I think as well for the business too. And it just tracks a lot more information here too. So um, you can do email reports. Uh, I won't read through all of these, but I'll go over some of the, the main stuff here. Block IP ranges, this is a big one too. So you can actually block ranges of IP that tend to be bad ones and you'll see patterns in your account. We've already seen some patterns in his and so far we blocked ranges, which this is just gonna help you a lot. Session recordings and analysis, this is kind of just extra, like you can use Hotjar. Hotjar is a software to do that and it's totally free. But uh, some of these extra features aren't super important. But really what I like is blocked IP ranges, VPN and proxy blocking, Aggressive mode, that's just an automated blocking strategy. So you can actually set up the parameters of how you want this to block. And then let's see, what was the other one? Campaign level blocking rules, I like that as well. And then refund claims. So all this automated stuff too, automated IP blocking, refund claims, those are big because this just saves me way more than $35 a month in time. So I would suggest going with this, but feel free to do this too. Just know that you gotta manually input the IP addresses into AdWords if you do so. So when you first sign up with Clixies, what you'll have to do is go through this setup process. And the first thing you'll wanna do is submit your AdWords ID. This is the 10 digit code in the top right corner of your AdWords dashboard. And just plug that in there and submit it. You just wanna get approval as well. So you're gonna go to account access, and to managers, and then accept ClickSeas as a managing account. And then you wanna do tracking installation. So this is going to be a code that ClickSeas gives you. And we're gonna put this code in or on your website, as well as a tracking template, which we're gonna put in the back end of AdWords itself. 
Then we also want to do set up domain rules. So these are specific rules that you can set up if you'd like to, or you can just leave it on the default settings, which are fine to begin with. Uh, enable auto refunds if you want that on. Might as well have it. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want that. And then you just set up your billing account and then everything's good to go. And at this point in time, if you've done that setup, then you're good and it should be running and it will catch IPs immediately and then integrate with AdWords and add those to your AdWords blacklist. But if you want to set up your own way of blocking, your own parameters, what you can do is go to domain settings at the top there, go to manage detection rules, and you can do a click fraud threshold. So you can allow a certain amount of clicks within a certain amount of time and set that threshold yourself. Do whatever makes sense for you. I went aggressive here and I actually went for, I did three for every 10 minutes. You can do whatever makes sense for you, but that's just what I chose to do. Of course, there's more information down here. I'm not going to go into every single one of these, but just click on whatever you want on and just uh, set that up as well. And you can go to manage auto IP blocking. And this is also going to show you some more information. It's going to show you all the manually excluded IPs to date, as well as the ranges, if you want to just plug those in yourself, as well as the protected campaigns towards the bottom here. And then the option to turn on aggressive blocking, which is, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but they want you to consult with them first just to get an idea of what's that, what that's going to do. Then when you want to check all the fraudulent IPs and clicks, just go to fraud analytics. And of course you can set this up for Bing as well as AdWords. Bing's going to be different. I'm not going to go into that, but for AdWords right at the top here, you're going to see all the IP addresses that have been negated in your AdWords account, blacklisted, the reasons for when they were clicked. Um, you can click up at the top there too, to get a sense of the countries, the different keywords that they used, the campaigns that they clicked the ranges, devices, placements, etc. all that information talked about before. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the complete list of all the clicks that came in in their IP addresses, as well as recordings. Uh, so this is good information to look through every now and again, just to make sure everything's functioning correctly. And then also look for patterns if you don't turn that feature on automatically in the domain settings. And that's it for the main features. It's a pretty straightforward software to use. So I'm not going to go into depth on any of the advanced stuff here. You can just dig around, click around, figure out how to use it or talk to support. They're also very good and easy to talk to with a quick response time. But yeah, ClickSees is a software that, like I said early in the video, I'm going to be using this for every account moving forward uh, just because you never know at this point whether it's competition clicking your ads or bots. And, you know, I'm not the only one who thinks this way. As you just go down their testimonial page, you'll see all these ClickSees reviews of people talking really highly of ClickSees. And I, I mean, I just started talking to some other PPC agencies and they say they use this tool as well. So, you know, it's really industry leading and something I highly suggest putting the money into. So once again, guys, the link to a free trial for ClickSees is below this video. So use that and uh, like this if you found it valuable, if you like ClickSees once signing up. Uh, share this with everybody else because the more people you share it with, more people are going to be saving some money here. And then make sure to subscribe if you like this content around mainly Google AdWords. Uh, I really love Google Ads but uh, anything related to marketing for local businesses as well as marketing in general online. So once again, guys, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.